Hi everybody, this is Nathan from Rain Networks with part 6 of our Proofpoint Essentials video. In our previous videos we went through how to set up customers and domains and users and how to kind of manage our uh, anti-spam settings in Proofpoint Essentials. Today we're going to go through and talk a little bit about filtering uh, messages and specifically how that pertains to encrypting messages. So the kind of focus on this is going to be um, how to make an encryption rule, which is in turn I'm going to be able to show you how to make filtering rules, um, which is a really cool feature in here. So first of all, in order to do filtering, you need to go to licensing and make sure that your licensing is on at least advanced, only advanced or professional. Uh, only those packages offer the encryption. Once you're on the correct um, licensing package, you want to go back to features and you want to make sure that email encryption here is selected and hit save so that enables email encryption as a feature on your account. Once you're, you've done that, you're ready to make a filtering rule. So as you can see uh, from our breadcrumb up here, I'm logged in um, with my test rain distribution account, which is my test managed service provider, and I've created a test company called Chad's Automotive, so hence why we have the Ford logo here on our co-branding, because we're, we're managing Chad's Automotive. And now I want to make an outbound encryption rule for Chad's Automotive. So the way I do that is I go to Filters, and then I go to Outbound, and I say new filter. So I'm going to make a brand new filter and I'm just going to call it test rule. And notice that it tells me here in the direction section that this is an outbound filter. And from there it puts me directly into the rule builder. So here's how the rule builder works. It's basically an if then logic statement, right? So in the top section here I have the if section. So if and for this I'm going to use email subject as the criteria for this rule. So I'm going to say, and I have other options, but for this this case, email subject um, is the best the best choice. And so then I go to the next box, and I'm going to say contains any of as the next section of the rule. So email subject contains any of, and the word I'm going to use for my keyword tag is secure mail. So basically, that's the action item for this rule: is that if the email subject contains the word secure mail. So then I go back down here into the lower section under do and I'm telling it what I want to happen if the email, sec email subject contains the word secure mail and I just select encrypt out of this section here and then I hit save and that's it. That's how easy it is to make an email filtering rule to encrypt messages. So the logic here is if secure mail is in the subject, proof point then takes that message, routes it through its email encryption service. On the other end, the recipient of the message basically gets an email that says, you know, Nathan has sent you an encrypted message through the proof point system. Click here to view the message. They then click on that. That recipient is taken to the proof point portal where they uh, create a login and then can it's kind of a, its own webmail portal where the user can reply to the message read my message obviously and do whatever needs to be done one of the other key components that makes this work is make sure under domains that you are telling proof point um, the correct uh, sending server for outbound email. This is very important that your outbound email service is configured correctly under your domain section for this setting to work. But yeah, basically just that easy. Just go to filters, go to outbound, click new filter, and walk through the, uh, the rule builder to make an outbound encryption rule.